start in southeast Portland. Police shut down a stretch of 92nd Avenue today. So what we know about this is that officers were in a standoff situation with a man that they say threatened a city employee. Queen 6 has been at the scene near 92nd and Southeast Steel all day going into the evening. Let's check in with our Liz Birch live in the neighborhood now. So Liz, what's the latest situation here? Liz, police tell us that suspect surrendered just after 2 p.m. today. You can see the roads finally back open behind me. They just reopened in the last couple of hours, but much of the neighborhood was closed throughout the day. I need you to come out of the tent now with your hands up and empty. You may be subject to force to include electronic weapons, canines, less lethal munitions, and chemical munitions. Over a loudspeaker, you can hear crisis negotiation teams and CERT trying to get the suspect to come out of a tent. Portland police say they responded a little after 9 this morning. A city worker called 911 to report that an individual had pulled out a gun and menaced them. They say the person he menaced was a rapid response worker trying to clear the homeless camp he was in. Police were in contact with him throughout the afternoon. They um, attempted to uh, convince the suspect to peacefully surrender. Um, they weren't successful. Around 2, they say they got the man into custody. This all happened in the middle of a neighborhood near the Boys and Girls Club. They say the incident tied up a lot of resources. This is a long process, and for, for us, um, it's worth the time to make sure that, that things end up safe for everybody involved. So they, they are continuing to that process, and I know it can be frustrating for members of the community as um, traffic is disrupted. But, but this can save a life. And you may have noticed that police activity, even if you were driving on the freeway today, I know when I was driving to the scene, I saw police with long guns and a drone overhead on the freeway. So something you may have noticed, even if you weren't in the neighborhood here. We're still working to learn a lot from police right now, including the identity of that suspect. Also, we're asking if there were any injuries when they were taken into custody. We'll let you know when we get answers to those questions. But for now, live in Southeast Portland, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.